Hello everyone, welcome to Cross Cultural. My name is Emma, and today I will be reacting to a video about food. Honestly, my favorite topic. I love eating, I eat all the time, so I'm so excited to watch this and see what kind of food people eat in India and in Old Delhi and New Delhi. The video is called Best Breakfast in Delhi, India. Stupid Good Food Indian Street Food Tour in Old Delhi and New Delhi. So, the thumbnail already looks so delicious, so let's just get started. Just straight up oil. Wow. I love these bikes. I would love to ride it. I would love to visit the here in Delhi. Forget your cornflakes, forget your Cheerios. Today we're doing breakfast how it should be done. Well, good morning, everybody. It's morning time in India, and we're going to get breakfast here at Om Corner, where they are making jole panure. Well, what is that? Besides bad pronunciation, we have a delicious bread that's made in oil, but we also have a chickpea with a top secret family recipe. We're going to order in just a second from this counter, but I keep seeing about every two minutes someone walking down these stairs with a big, delicious stainless steel bowl of bread. So I'm gonna find the source of that right now. Let's go. This is making me hungry, you guys. Right now we're headed upstairs. They've had to renovate their kitchen a little bit. This is a temporary space. So here in the living room, we basically have the food prep going on. Chickpeas, potatoes right here. A bunch of food prep is happening in this room. And then right over here, they're making that bread. This is where the process begins. They've got this huge bowl of dough. So they take a little piece of dough, then they get a thumbful of this lentil butter. Then they wrap it inside of the whole bigger dough ball. And I think that's what helps it expand. What's really unique about this bread is that it bubbles up and becomes hollow. After they've created this dough ball, a man here takes it, he does a little slappy slap, spanks it a bit, and then he chucks it into this giant fryer here. Within about a minute, these go from flat to bubbling up beautifully. Oh, is it time to take another lug down? Oh. So it is a non-stop assembly line going from basically flour over here to making the dough Throwing it in the fryer and then delivering it downstairs to the hungry customers. So they're constantly making this fresh bread. Oh, he's back for lunch. Right now I'm here with Imanchu. Yeah, thank you so much for having us today. Thank you. I've been working here for the last 10 years, uh, but our business is 60 years old. My grandfather started 60 years back. And what would you say makes this place so special? It's a, a recipe that makes it very special. My grandfather had made it himself. We use special masalas in our chickpeas. And a masala, masala just refers to a certain blend of spices. Blend so of spices. You have your own like secret proprietary blend of spices yes, here. Yeah, we have our own blend of secret spices. Could you write it down for me? Now, I notice your dining room, there's no chairs, so it's kind of like some kind of Indian fast food almost. It will just take five minutes for you to come in, take your order, eat, and just leave. So this can be a breakfast, it can be lunch, it can be dinner. Not exactly dinner, because it's quite heavy for dinner, but okay. maybe it'll be dinner kind of a thing. When the owner tells you the food is heavy, it is no joke. Even aside from the fried bread, this it is looks so delicious. Wowzer. And then some more potato. Oh, are these both fun? Are all three of these mine? Just take one. 
Take one and go. This one's mine. Let's go eat. To drink, I went next door to grab a fresh lassie. A blend of yogurt, water, and sugar, and the perfect companion to this heavy breakfast. Oh, it's so frothy. Let's try it out. For my giant chalice. And that is a great balance to what we're about to eat because it is heavy. I'm gonna try some of this just alone. I wanna try this drink. Oh, that's delicious. Full of spices, just pops in your mouth. And then a nice kind of mushy bean texture too. Let's rip this bad boy open. I mean, what a work of art this is. You don't really need a spoon. You just use this. You got some potato on there. I always get way too big of a bite. I can't help it. I'm hungry. Let's go for it. This makes me so hungry, you guys. It has some great texture. It's like crunchy and soft at the same time. I can eat a thousand of these bread bubbles. It just tastes like some perfectly toasted bread with some light butter on top. It is not just bread. It is an eating utensil. And we're using it to scoop up these beans right here. We also have a chili right here. But this is great. This is just a super quick, easy meal in the morning. By the way, all this is under 30 cents. But yeah. Mmm, but the top. Don't forget to wash it down with some of this. The end. <laughs> That's cheap. How? It's so, so big. Welcome to Old so big. I to ride here. Uh, we're headed right now to Karata Lane, a place where they're making this beautifully stuffed bread. They have all kinds of different fillings, and we're gonna go check out some of those right now. As long as I don't capsize. Hopefully I won't tip over. <laughs> You guys are doing great. Keep it up. So we're going there right now to check it out. And uh, is that a monkey? Oh. Oh, is that a monkey? I don't want to look, but it's too much. So cute. Here. There's some monkeys crawling above me. It's not cute. There's stories of like it is cute. People steal your phone. You steal your keys. And there's like a baby one trying to eat this wire over here too. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe they just snatch some food. Like maybe they just grab like some vegetables from down here, and then they just run away. I don't know. We should ask this guy. Do they steal your? They take your oh, food. they steal food. <laughs> this is a serious issue. He just threw a bean. He just threw a bean to the monkey. Uh, it's, it's like the last thing I should be doing. Yeah, no, no, go. Is go, this yeah. real? Okay, monkeys are fed. Time for me to eat. Enough with the monkeys. We're focusing on Aww. the bread. We're going to this shop right here. A tradition of six generations. This paratha stand. We're gonna go inside and see what kind of fillings they have. Paratha is kind of this stuffed. Flat bread. Here they have all the different fillings. The most common is potato pulse. I don't even. What's pulse? Oh, a lentil. Someone told me it's a lentil. I mean, I just remembered that. Oh, cheese. Mint. Oh, cheese. Seems like an after dinner paratha. Banana. I think that's perfect. We'll get one cheese for dinner and one banana for dessert. Oh, by uh, egg cheese and egg banana. So he's hollowed out the dough and he's shoving this beautiful cheese inside and he's putting some masala on top. Oh, 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 oh. That looks tasty already. It looks like a giant cheese ball. And then he's gonna douse some flour on there and flatten that sucker out so that is full of cheese. And then next is banana. So he's chopping up our bananas to put inside. And he also put in some condensed milk with dried fruits. This is looking more like a empanada or a samosa or something. He just put our cheese into the fryer. Hi, you're on my show, I, I don't know. Sorry, here we go. I really want to eat this. I know that for sure. The banana one is easy to pick out. Oh, that's coming up next. He's like, why are you so loud? It's so early right now. Oh, this one is the cheese one. The banana's going in. That's going to be delicious. And look at this. The banana's already turned dark brown, full of deliciousness. Potato vegetable, mashed pumpkin curry, some potato and pea curry, and a sweet sauce with banana slices. And we're going to start with the cheese, of course, because that is dinner. I'm going to rip it here in front of you so you can see... Uh, okay, it's not gooey. It's more like a cottage cheese. Try a chunk of that now. Mmm. So you can taste the masala in there. Actually, it's a lot of cinnamon, which I didn't expect. So we're gonna take this. Hey, we're just making a food show real quick. Is that okay? <laughs> Thanks. There's some sauce on there. You like that? Let's take a big bite. I love that. Oh, tremendous spicy curry explosion. Potato, Amazing. bread, and some cheese. It's very exciting. Mm, yummy. And then you can dip it in here. Oh, I'm bored of that one. I'll put it in here. Oh my god. Nice and tangy, salty, and I'm going to just jump right into dessert. It's called a banana pata. It's almost like a, a little empanada. We're going to put it in that sauce. It's just dripping with sugary, syrupy sweetness. Mm. I really want to do this one pushing. day. Look at that. Look at that dip shot. You guys like that? Are you getting hungry? Are you hitting the like button? <laughs> oh, I keep getting a like button for that. Oh, hi. Another bite? 
favorite things I've ever had so far. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's chewy, it's flaky on the outside. Cinnamon. It's everything you want in a food. Buy up. Buddy up. Buddy up. Thank you. I'm going to walk off into the sunset with this. So amazing. Amazing. I would love to try this. It's making me so hungry. Here. Was that pretty good? Pronunciation on fleek. We come here. It's basically a meat paradise. They have every different type of meat. And we're about to see that now. This place is kind of like the Indian Sonic. People are coming here, ordering food, and they're eating on their motorbike. So their motorbike seat becomes a table as they all kind of join around. Have a little snack, have a little feast with their friends. We're gonna check out the food. That's so and interesting. And maybe join some people out here to also eat. Follow me into the kitchen. I've now, never seen someone eat on their motorcycle. Where a lot of the meat preparation is going on here. We have a couple of these gigantic tandoor ovens. Bam! Giant meat skewers. What do you want? Chicken? Fish? More chicken? Mm -hmm. This one in this gigantic commercial size tandoor oven making this beautiful tandoori oh. chicken. All right, guys, welcome to the bread room. There are oh, he's gonna cook. types of bread in India. I knew for sure naan and butter naan and garlic butter naan and garlic butter cheese naan. Those were the ones I knew. But here we have Romali roti, the thinnest bread in India. Romali means handkerchief because this bread is as oh. thin as a handkerchief. A man is busy at work. You're gonna see this beautiful artistry in a second, but it starts here with the dough. They take it out of here, put it in a ball. And then from the ball, he's gonna flatten it out and he does this amazing move, and he throws it on this crazy hot upside down walk over here. That roasts for about like five, ten seconds each side, and then that's it. It's ridiculously fast. And what's more impressive here is how he goes from a ball to this super thin bread that has a perfect consistency throughout. It's all completely the same thinness all the way through, no holes, no tearing, even though it's it's almost disconcerting. The bubbling, it's like it's looks it's like, like a pancake. Like your bread game is strong. We've entered the meat room. What meat room number seven? Right here we have the galoti kebab. Gently searing kebab. this beautiful mutton masterpiece. Finely minced and pounded mutton. I've been told they pounded the heck out of this particular mutton. Sorry about that. It's just in a nice little pond of ghee, and it looks great. There's so much intense spiciness going on in here, like the air is spicy. <laughs> if you breathe in too quick, like it's gonna burn your nose. So once it's done, he's gonna scoot it to the edge, and then uh, we're gonna mix that with our bread that you just saw, and I'm gonna go outside to find someone to eat this with. Oh, sh do I still have... <laughs> What's your name, Heather? I'll get, I'll get the right. Well, have you been here before? Yeah. yeah. It's great for meat. They got a lot of meat. I'm gonna try some of this mutton. Oh, that's delicious, but it needs a bread. It's so fine. It's like a pate of mutton with a, with all the Indian uh, spices. Look at that. That's awesome. So is this like something you'll do on a on a weekend? You'll come out, hang out. Yeah, weekend basis. Did one of you drive here on this bike? Is this bike belong to this place? Yes. Second table. Yeah, we are just. Oh. The but bikes are not theirs. Just to make it somewhat different from other like right. other things. That's so interesting. I mean, charming. I meant charming. This is delicious. Look, yeah. it's just obviously super thin and like kind of chewy. All right, well, thanks for letting me. Oh, can you pretend to eat more? Here, pretend to eat that. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and pretending to eat so we could do this scene. It was a lot of fun for me. And I think it's a lot of fun for the people watching. Yeah. They're having so much fun right now. They're like, they can't subscribe <laughs> fast enough. And they're hitting the like button and they're leaving. A lot of positive comments and no upside down like buttons. Guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is a company putting on tours in Vietnam. Right now they're in Saigon, Da Nang, and Hoi An, but they've got so many more cities to come. They are doing adventure tours, food tours, the Mekong Delta tour. So many ways to see and experience and taste the real Vietnam. So many good food. on One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next week. A peace. Good? No, I thought I would see some more food. <laughs> I love food so much. Is there more? No. Okay, guys, I love food so much. It's my favorite favorite thing on this planet. I love to eat and I love trying new things from other countries and other cultures and my life dream is literally to go to India 
and try all the different foods and all the different spices. I love spicy food. I love everything. I love eating everything. And imagine how this is so cheap and yet so big and so delicious. Looks so interesting, so delicious. And the people look so welcoming. They look like so domestic, so... I don't know. And the, the place where you can eat on a motorcycle, at first I thought that the motorcycle is yours, like you come in with your motorcycle and then eat on your motorcycle, but no, like motorcycles are like tables from that restaurant. That's so interesting, that's so crazy. And how the, the, the monkeys, oh my god, the monkeys are so cute. Is that real, guys? Please tell me in the comments down below. Is it real? You have monkeys in your streets. That's so cute. I would love to. I would love to see that. I would love to have a monkey. They're so cute, and they steal some food from the market. That's so so cute. Oh my god! And the streets are so busy. The men driving the the motorcycle, the bike motorcycle with with the driving people. Oh my god! I would love. I would love to experience that. I can. I can't explain it. <laughs> oh my god. Now, th this is making me hungry. Now I'm hungry. I'm gonna try and make something right now because I haven't eaten all day and this video hasn't helped at all. <laughs> so, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Please leave a like if you like this video, share, subscribe and leave comments down below. Um, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!